didn't have a band, we didn't have a course, we didn't have anything. It's just the three R's. Schools can change a lot over the years, and so can families. But one family and one school have been together for four generations. A student, her mom, her grandfather, and her great grandmother all attended Central High School. Today they shared their memories with Cole Sullivan. Well, I just had average grades. I didn't try too hard. At 102 years old, Chloe Harrington still has strong opinions about her high school. We made us dress up and wear holes just like we was going to church. So I didn't approve of that. She attended in the 1930s when Hassie Gresham was principal. We still had a lot of fun and we just behind Hassie. <laughs> Miss Gresham sounds like a bit of a disciplinarian. I thought she stuck her nose in the things she shouldn't have. Or maybe Harrington was just a troublemaker. And she chewed me out all but good, but she wanted to know who else was in the crowd. She wanted to get them, and I wouldn't tell her. So I just said, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. These days, it's her great-granddaughter, Charlie, under a principal's thumb at Central High. You know, I'm a fourth-generation Central Bobcat. Although she says she's not as much trouble as her great-grandmother. Hmm, that's questionable. She's following more in her grandfather's footsteps. He was in the drum line for the Central High Band. Charlie joined this year. Yes, I was glad to see her do that. I was really tickled. I didn't want to put any pressure on her, but she, she joined, and I was really proud of her. It's a really good experience. For Charlie's mom, another CHS alum, four generations of Central grads in the family isn't just good for stories. I think that it creates their roots into the community, and I think that's what makes a community strong. A strong community and stronger family ties for these four generations of Central Bobcats. Cole Sullivan, WBIR 10 News. What a cool family there. Charlie says most of the kids at school don't actually know about her legacy at Central, but her friends do. She points out her grandma's great grandma's photo rather whenever she walks past it in the hallway.